Welcome everyone. We're back. We're back. For another episode of the Six Flags Show, Season 2. Episode 1. Episode 1. Wow. The ratings were strong. Yep. And we're back again. And this time, we are going to talk about what we think will come in 2022 at Six Flags St. Louis. Okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, is there going to be like some intro then? No intro. This is very low budget. I mean, I'll make one. So, what do we think the percentage is that we will get a buffet return? Zero. To Six Flags St. Louis? None. Because it's COVID right now and the Oxycron. So, uh, we're not going to be getting it. Omicron, Oxycron. So, there used to be a buffet usually on weekends over in the uh, picnic area. Over across from First Cone. Haven't had it in a couple of years. I believe I'm going to give it a 20% chance of returning in 2022. I'm going to give it a 5. Caleb's giving it a 5. We'll see who is closer. Let's see. Let's go to the Mysterious Wall. It's over by American Thunder. It used to be Moon Cars. Uh, Mr. Six Flags, friend of the show. Uh, reported that he believes it is for a haunted house or haunted attraction for Fright Fest, which I can I can see that coming. Do we think it'll be something else before that, or will the wall come down? What percentage do you think you're going to give it? Um, what percentage do you think it's a haunted oh, attraction? Haunted? And what percentage do you think it'll be something also else besides that? For a haunted, I'm going to give it a... 50 and right in the middle 50 percent chance and then wait what's the other one for um i don't know this is too high okay you're bald look like i have a do-rag <laughs> yo 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 i'm thinking about the haunted attraction, I'm gonna give that an 80% chance of happening. If it's something before that and the wall comes down, I'll give it a 30% chance. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I'm gonna give it a 20, 29.9. Okay. So, speaking of moon cars, what do you think the chances are that we will get some sort of announcement sometime in 2022 that the moon cars will be returning or some variation of a moon car over in the area that was formerly going to be Catwoman Whip over by the boss. Do you think we will get some kind of uh, yes a, some kind of car attraction yes. over there? Yeah. What's your percentage? That we'll get some kind of announcement. 75.6. I'm going to give it a 40% chance. Oh, you don't believe in it? Hmm? You don't believe in it? Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's go to the bathrooms. The bathrooms at Six Flags St. Louis are, can we just say, the lighting in here is really poor. Just like the bathrooms. <laughs> um, can we say the bathrooms are bad? Will there be any kind of remodel? Most likely. To not. any of them? Most likely. So I'm going to give it a 10% chance that we'll get any kind of bathroom remodel. I'm going to give it a negative 30. Negative 30. Okay. Two. Now, let's go to the carousel. It's been down for, I believe, two seasons now. I don't think the end is in sight, because even when they do all the horses, they're still going to have to, I assume, repurpose the, the top part and maybe even the floor. Um, what do you think the chances are that we'll see any kind of carousel in 2022? Okay, so I think it won't be it won't be open until the winter, maybe. So you think maybe for holiday in the park? So maybe in holiday in the park it'll be open because like. So you, so you think there is a chance? I think there is a chance. I'm gonna say there's a zero percent chance oh. we'll see the carousel in 2022. I'm sticking to that zero. You're so harsh. I know. All right, so let's go over to what's coming. We know the Catwoman Whip, which should have been there two years ago, is coming in 2022. Will the area around Catwoman Whip 
up there by where the entrance to Screaming Eagle used to be and the Go Fresh Cafe. Will that area even be open before Catwoman Whip is open that we can walk through? No, because if it's... Or do you think they're going to do it all together? They're going to do all together because why Well, why would they open it now and not before? Okay. When it, like, so you're giving it basically a zero. I'm thinking there's about a 30% chance we will be able to walk through there. We just won't be able to go on Catwoman Whip yet. But why wouldn't they just open it now? And like, speaking of Catwoman Whip, do you think it will open prior to Memorial Day? Nope. Zero percent. I'm going to also go with zero percent even though it should already be open. Should have been open. I do you think? Do you think it'll actually open on Memorial Day weekend, or do you think it'll be later? Man, it's gonna be like a whole another year until it's. Open. Caleb's thinking it's gonna be farther in the year. I'm thinking that too. I'm thinking we're not gonna see it till sometime in July. Total guess. No inside knowledge on any of these subjects. Are you talking about next July or this July? This coming. Well, it's January, so it's coming July. Normally they open their rides in like Memorial Day ish. Um, in that kind of range no, for I the said summer. Whole another year. So you're thinking not even 2022. I'm thinking 2023. Wow, hot take. <laughs> when, nothing would surprise me at this point. Okay. Just <laughs> slowly stripping that. <laughs> slowly <laughs> stripping. Um, so speaking of that area, do you think right now we have a fresh cafe that hasn't been used in years? Since they are kind of repurposing that area, do you think we will see any kind of new restaurant up there at all in 2022? Some kind of DC themed, you know, area or anything really. Aquaman's fish sticks. Oh. Yeah, well, that's not a bad idea. Um, they don't have fish sticks at Six Flags, do they? No. They should do that. There should be. Um, I'm thinking there is a 50% chance, and I have not heard any announcement or anything on this. I think there's a 30. I think there's a 50% chance we get something over there. Some kind of uh, food place in that area, probably where the Fresh Cafe was, because we'll probably never see that again. But I think there's going to be something that comes there. 50%. That's what you're, then what do you said, 30? 30. Okay. So speaking of that area, Screaming Eagle. Uh, it's been down for quite a while because they kind of closed that when they closed that area. They had a new alternate entrance there for a minute. Uh, do you think they will do anything to the Screaming Eagle track before 2023 or 2022? I'm sorry. Nope. Will they paint it? Will they nope. squirt some WD-40 on it? Nope. Will they do anything? <laughs> no. To the Screaming Eagle that sounds like it could collapse at any moment and it's so rough I can't even go on anymore. I think there's a 2% chance. I am going to give it a 10% chance that they give the Screaming Eagle some love. Caleb's giving it a 2. You're probably more close than I am. It's probably in the negatives. Yep. And I'll go last on this one. Do you think... The big announcement that hopefully will return, usually they do it about a week or so before Labor Day to kind of build up hype for a, a new season pass incentive and deal. They usually do a big announcement with all the Six Flags parks. There's some cheesy video that they post and it hasn't been there for two years now. Do you think we'll get that cheesy video? Do you think they'll reference our Six Flags and will it be a roller coaster for 2023? Oh, a roller coaster? A roller coaster. An impressive roller coaster. Nope. You're giving it a what percent chance of we're getting a roller coaster? Oh, that's like a negative 100. You still have no faith that we're going to get I have one. no... We're going to get like some stupid... We haven't had a boat ride. legit roller coaster since American Thunder. The last one we got, I think, was in like 2013. And that was the re a repurposed boomerang from another park. I think what we're going to get is like some Dumbo ride from like Disney. Wow. Okay, I was going with a Dumbo type ride. Which do we even... Other than the kitty ride oh, with yeah, the airplanes, we don't have one. Uh, I mean, I guess you could call... No, we don't have it. So, I'm going to say this is an 85% chance we're going to get an announcement with a roller coaster in August. Is that because some worker told you? Well, no. They, they told me it was coming like two years ago. So, I'm thinking 
it's going to happen. It has to happen for 2023. I think they wanted to do it for the 50th. COVID destroyed all those plans. They have to. It's been so long since we've had a roller coaster. Um, I think the 2023 announcement will give us some kind of roller coaster. Hopefully, it's something good and not some like 4D free spin garbage. Oh, I don't want that. With the um, cat one with those. You know, I wouldn't mind the Aquaman power splash thing that they're putting in Texas, where it's like a hybrid roller coaster slash like, uh, uh, what do you call it? The big uh, shoot the shoots uh, tidal wave kind of thing. I wouldn't mind that, but we want a real roller coaster. Uh, hopefully, it's some kind of RMC Raptor. Or the RMC the boss, which who knows if that'll ever happen. But I'm thinking it's gonna happen. Any any of your thoughts on that? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. No. Caleb's a little more pessimistic than me. I'm usually the negative one. I'm a little more optimistic on some of these things. Uh, we are looking forward to opening day. It's usually the thirdish week of March. I don't know the exact date off the top of my head because we don't do research for this show. But I hope you enjoyed Season 2, Episode 1 of the Six Flags Show. If the ratings are strong, we'll keep going. Until then, may the Six Flags adventure be with you all. Talk good night. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.